Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to save data into the database using your Visual Basic Windows Form application and MySQL database. Now in this video, I will show you how to edit or update your data in the database using your Visual Basic Windows Form application. So for that, I will take a button and I will change its text as update and I will change the font size so we will be able to see it properly so I will change the font size of my button text bold 16 ok now in the last video if you remember I have shown you how to save your data to the database using your visual basic .NET code. So I'm going to copy uh, the code from my save button click sub event. So I will copy all the code from there and in the last video I have explained you in much detail how this code works right. So I'm not going to take much time to write or rewrite the code once again I will just add it the code where we need to write the code to update the data so I will just click this button for update double click it and I will paste the code for the save data which I have written in the last video and then I will just add it this code to update the data so this first two lines if you know is for connecting the MySQL database and your Visual Basic uh, project. This MySQL reader reads the data from the database. So this is the reader declaration and in the try catch block so this try and this catch here it catches if any exception occurs while we are executing the query and then it shows the message if some exception occurs. Now in the try block we are opening the connection with the database and we are declaring a string to write the query in it. So I have declared a string which with the name query and here the only part that will change here to update the data is this query. In the last video this line we have written or this query we have written to save the data into the database. Now in this video we want to update the data in the database. So we will write instead of insert into we will write update database which is your database name which is this database dot your table name my table name is edata so I have written update data dot dot edata and then I am going to delete this because I don't need it and I will also delete values and I will write set so once again when I complete the query I will repeat the query so don't worry and in here I will I'm going to write name or first is EID so I will write EID is equal to second column we want to update is the name so we will write name here third column we want to update is the surname is equal to and the fourth column we want to update is the age so now I will once again go through this query so in the update query we write update database name dot the table name which is edata in my case then set and in the bracket we write eid which is the name of my first column is equal to 
in this single quote, double quotation, and this end sign. Just write text box dot text and repeat this sequence once again. Comma for name, we are going to repeat this code once again. Name is equal to single quote, double quote, and this end sign, and the name of the text box of name dot text and and just close this with the same procedure comma surname is equal to the text box name of the surname dot text and comma age is equal to the text box name of the age dot text so this is the query to update the data and instead of showing data saved we just change the message as data updated okay so this is the code to update your data in the database using your visual basic windows form application let's check our code if it's working or not so i will run my code and i will open my table so we can see if data is really changed or not I will log in my form and here I want to change for example but wait I, I forgot some really fast so my query was update data dot table name set the column name is equal to the text name and after this bracket where this bracket for all uh, the setting for the column completes this co this bracket starts from here and closes here you need to write the reference of the column on the basis of which you want to update your data so just write where your column name for example you want to update the data on the basis of employee id so you can write eid is equal to once again single quotations in between double quotations in between this end sign and just give the name of the employee id text box which is this and just copy the employee id dot text from here and paste it here okay now this query will work properly i will once again run the my program and i will log into my login page and in here i will just check whether i'm able to update the data in the database or not so for example i have this employee ID 17 where I want to change the age of this employee so I will write here employee ID 17 name name of the employee and surname also I want to change it for example so I will change the surname For example, changed surname and the age is 66, for example. And I will say update. I will click this button. And in here, it says uh, me or it returns me some error. It says, so this uh, query is giving me some exception. So it says the error says that I have syntax error in the query. So let's see where my syntax error is in the query. So I will just cancel my program. And I believe in the where in the update query this bracket doesn't come. So I will delete the bracket from here. And now the query is update database dot e data set eid without the bracket right 
PID is equal to your text in the text box and name is equal to name in the text box and surname is equal to surname in the text box and age is equal to age in the text box where your EID is equal to your text box name for EID dot text. So just uh, change the bracket, just delete the brackets in the query. Okay, and now once again we are going to run the program and we will check we that if we are able to update the data or not. So once again I want to change 17 employee ID 17 information which is Paul Henry right now. I will say changed name and changed surname and age is 100 for example so this uh, data for employee ID 17 should change to this data I will say update data and I get data updated and let's refresh the database and you see here the uh, data of the employee ID 17 is changed change name change surname and age is 100 in the same way you can edit the data for employee ID 16 some name some surname and age is 86 for example and update data is updated and I will refresh my data base and you see here my data is updated according to my form here so in this way you can write a query and write the code to update your database using your visual basic windows form application i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now